Hey guys, in this video, we are going to learn how to reverse a string in different approaches using JavaScript. Here, I have a const variable as str that is going to be let code. Now, we are going to reverse the string in the very easiest way that is using the slice or the array functions using the JavaScript ES file syntax. For example, if I say console.log and str of 0, here we can see that it is giving us this index of 0 that is L. We can see the output in this particular location. And if I say of 6, that is going to give us the last element that is E. Using this concept, we are going to print all the characters by using the loop. Let us see how to do that. First, I have to initialize my loop and within the loop, I have to say from where I have to start. So here we are trying to reverse the string. So of course, I should start always from the last element. To get the last element, I have a property called length. So here I can say let i equal to str dot length. Length is the property here. And then I have to say what is the condition? When should I stop my loop? So here I can say i should be greater than or equal to 0 and then followed by i have to do the increment or the decrement now of course since we are traversing from the last element we have to do the decrement so i'm going to say i minus minus now we know that in this array type whenever we are trying to access any of the value that should always accessed by the minus one right because if I say here like console.log str.length, you can see that it is giving us 7. But when I try to print that here, you can see that we are not able to get anything and we are getting this undefined. So that means when we are trying to get the length, it is giving us the number of characters present there. But when we are going to access that in the array, we have to use minus 1, right? So here, of course, when I'm initializing my loop, I have to give minus one. And that's the reason we have used i greater than or equal to zero. Since we have starting from the last element and we want to get till the first element, that is the zeroth element. So that's the reason we are using this greater than or equal to. And since we have to traverse from the back side, of course, I have to use the minus minus. Now, simply I can just put wrap within this loop and I can use this i. Now here we can see that we are able to get all the string, I mean all the characters in the reverse order. But we cannot do with this anything, right? Until we store that in a variable. So I'm going to create a variable here. So let my reverse string and I'm going to initialize this as empty value. So no value are there, just we are going to declare this. Now, instead of this log, I have to call my, my reverse string and then I have to assign this, right? So here I will say my reverse string and then followed by plus. So that means my reverse string will be first the empty and what are the values we are getting from this i portion, i based portion from this original string, we are appending that to this value, right? So if I don't append this, what will happen means if I log this now console.log and my reverse string and you can see that we are able to get this L only that is my last value, right? That's the reason we are doing the append. Now instead of doing my reverse string equal to my reverse string plus str of i, we can write like this and that is like your again short form, right? So here we can see that the value is reversed now. So this is the easiest way to reverse a string. Now let us see how to solve this in different way using the caret function. So I'm just going to copy the entire same code and I will comment this and here I will paste it. Just instead of this technique, here I can say str.caret and here I have to pass the i value. That's it, very simple, right? So same concept, same logic, everything. So instead of slicing here, like using the array, and this concept was introduced in the ES5 version. And this is your character char at function that is coming from my string. So this is my second view. 
Now, third way is very interesting and it is also kind of um, very easy, I can say. So, the technique here is we are going to use the split function. So, here I can say str dot split and we are going to split this with nothing. That means each and every character will be splitted and this split is going to return us as a array of string. So, I can store that in a variable. Let my str and then I can use the reverse function that is inbuilt in the array. So, if I move on this, you can see that it's going to give us this string of array and within the array, we have the function called reverse. So, let me try to print that. So, console.log and within this, I am going to say my str dot reverse and that is going to give us the reverse order of my array but it is in the format of array but we want this into the string format. So here I can simply say dot join and we are going to join with nothing so I am just going to give this as empty space not even space just empty value. Now here we can see that we are able to get this as value. Now instead of printing I can store this in a variable let my reverse and that is going to solve this. Now here simply I can just log this console.log my rib. That's it, right? So we are able to get this. So in this way, we can solve the reverse the program, reverse the string program very easily in three ways. And of course, there might be another ways as well. So there is multiple ways to do the same program in different logics in different ways. But I think this is going to be very easy and useful. And bonus tip: whenever we are going to write any of the code, just instead of writing like this, you can convert that into a function that will give you more advantage. So I'm just going to quickly convert this as a function. So here I'm, I can just copy this, I mean select this and I can click on this bulb icon and I can select like extract a function in global space and here I will give name this as reverse. That's it, right? So in this way we can convert to a function or else we can write our own function as well. So here I will say like let my reverse And we know that this is going to ask a um, parameter. So here we'll pass this as str and then followed by we'll just simply cut the center code and we'll paste it here. Now whenever I'm going to call this, so console.log and here I have to pass the value that is going to be my str, right? So here we can see that it's going to give us undefined because we are printing here rather we have to return this right so i will just add the return statement here and that's it so here we can see that we are able to get this function right so always try to write in a function so that doesn't matter what the input data is going to be we can easily call this function and we can pass different data and that is going to work for sure i hope you like this approach and this programming video if so, do let me know in the comments and if you are new to the channel, kindly do subscribe so that you will get at least one video per week on this basic of programming and you can get all the source code in my GitHub repository. I will leave a link in the descriptions. Thanks for watching. See you in the next one very soon.